Hey guys, how's it going? I just wanted to talk about two different filters. Um, the OIII filter versus the uh, UHC filter. My UHC is Lumicon brand. And it's a two inch filter. It's about 200 bucks. The Explore Scientific is the OIII filter. And it was about just a little over a hundred bucks, if I remember right. <clears throat> They're both two inch filters and um, you know, I'm using using them in a Dobsonian reflector for visual only, and I use them on nebulas, both of them, um, like the Veil Nebula. I can't see that without a filter. I'm using a 16 inch Dob, and um, you know the Swan Nebula, Orion Nebula. They enhance all those, all the planetary nebula, M57, M27. So obviously there's a price difference in these and uh, UHC stands for ultra high contrast and uh, the filters don't add anything they just block certain paths of light some are narrow band some are broadband filters I guess I don't really know what these are but honestly I don't see a huge difference between these two when I'm observing you know they do make the stars look kind of green and uh, like say you're observing the the Orion Nebula I, you know with either one of these I, I really don't see a difference the Lumicon has a great uh, reputation you know for being like the best in filters my, my Lumicon one right now it's loose in there so there's like a hole I gotta, I gotta tighten it up somehow but anyway so I would recommend probably an Explore Scientific 2 inch OIII filter. Um, there's there's people who get real technical and in depth about you know what these do. I'm observing from a Borel four, and I don't really see a huge difference in between these two. It's nice to have two of them though. I mean, you you ever heard the phrase two is one and one is none, in case you like lose a filter or something. But anyways, I mean they're both they're great they're great filters. Both of them are kind of like purple if you can. You can see, uh, I guess it's how probably most filters are. It does look like one is a little bit darker than the other, I guess. Yeah, they are different. See right there. Yeah, anyways. Yeah, so I would recommend, you know, you don't have to spend $200 on a Lumicon UHC filter. You could probably get one far cheaper. I mean, I don't know. Like I said, the quality is there with Lumicon. But the price is there too, and so it's just, I mean, if they, I think they kind of do this, it seems like they do the same type of thing. I'm sure there are different, like, wavelengths that they block and stuff, but I mean, uh, I would recommend going with the uh, Explorer Scientific on that. All right, thanks guys.